folks, I'm out here in the shop. As you know, this is the place I tend to spend a lot of my time. And as I make my way over here to where I keep some of my tools, one thing tends to fall down on me more often than not, and that's sawdust. And the reason sawdust is falling down on me is because there's always sawdust up in the air. Tools like these put it there. What I wanted to do today is talk about why I choose to have certain brands of one tool as compared with another. Today I'm going to talk about Milwaukee. Now Milwaukee and I, we're not a partnership. I'm not sponsored by them, although I'd be happy to take some free tools. But Milwaukee has treated me really, really well for a number of years in terms of their quality of their products. Now I purposely choose some products to be Milwaukee, some to be DeWalt. And the reason being is I think they have their pros and cons for that given product. Now when I'm talking about Milwaukee, I'm talking about their circular saw and their reciprocating saw or Sawzall. These two saws here have done me really, really well for a lot of years. They also have made a living for me at a period in time. Now these saws here have lived out in all elements ranging from negative 30 degrees Celsius in the middle of January to 35 degrees Celsius in the middle of August. They've performed in all conditions, whether it was rain, snow, wind, sleet, you name it. They've performed every single time really, really well. They've also not been treated the greatest because they haven't been kept in a well-lit, well-heated shop. They've lived out on the job site. They've been set down in the dirt, rested in the snow. They've been poured on, and they've never, ever not performed. And when I'm talking about performance, I'm not talking about homeowner, homeowner performance. I mean professional performance. These have made a living for myself and my coworkers who've also used them. And they've provided me with years and years of service. Now, at the end of the day, I don't know how many products can say that. Probably a few. But one thing's for certain. These are going to be staying in my toolbox for the foreseeable future because I don't foresee them wearing out. If we have a look at them in more detail... Let's jump in here. This here is the Milwaukee circular saw, seven and a quarter inch blade, magnesium base. This is often called a sidewinder because the motor is directly in line with the blade. They've got worm drives out there and all kinds of things, but I find I like these the best because that's what I'm used to. This saw, when you're standing up on a roof and you have to pass it down to the ground before you get down from a ladder, you know how it gets passed down? Like this by the extension cord, all the way to the ground. Every tool, every job site, every time I've had to move a tool, it gets moved just like that. That's just how it is. You're not wiping it off every time it gets wet. You're not keeping it out of the elements. You're, you're doing a job. So you do it as efficiently, as quickly as you can. These tools, even though I've passed them down from up high like that countless times, they still perform flawlessly. And I'm not saying that they're treated like this all the time, because they're not. But the times they are, are the times when maybe I'm balancing on a ladder and I'm worrying about falling off more so than how I pass down a, a tool. So having something that's going to come back every single day and keep providing for me is the reason I'm putting my name on these Milwaukee tools. If you're in the market for them, by all means, get out there and buy them. Because at the end of the day, they've lasted for me. They've lasted for my coworkers, and quite frankly, I've seen a lot of tradespeople they've lasted for. And just for that reason, they're a solid buy. They're not that expensive. I don't know how much they were, a hundred and something bucks Canadian? You think about how much money that's actually made me for how long they've, they've been in, in service? That's a pretty sweet deal. So if you're in that market, give Milwaukee a try. I bet you won't be disappointed. Anyways, that's my two cents. I don't know what it's good for, but spend it, uh, spend it as you will. Thanks for watching, guys. You know what to do if you like this content. If you didn't, well, give it another try next time. See you then.